hello, um, I'm, I'm Michael Sprintz. I'm one of quite a few grandchildren of Dalbert and it just happens that I'm in London and therefore I've been asked to say a few words about him. Um, for me it's disappointing that Dalbert is not celebrated as a British composer. Um, in fact, I think the last performance of, for example, Tieflung was in 1962 or 1964 performed at Sadler's World, whereas in Germany his operas are performed constantly. So this is surprising really because he, he was in fact British, born in Glasgow um, and his mum was a Geordie from Newcastle upon Tyne. Whilst he, he is in fact buried in Morcota, which is where he used to go and do his composing on the shores of Lake um, Lugano during the summer, uh, the family grave is in fact up at Kensal Rise and it's very interesting because um, if you look at the inscriptions um, his, his grandfather of course was um, uh, Bernardo d'Albert who was in fact aide-de-camp and a cavalry officer in Napoleon's army and was at Waterloo fighting against the British. In 1882-83 stroke 83, at the tender age of around 18 he went and lived with Hans Richter, the great conductor, um, in Weimar. I've got several letters um, that he wrote at the time, mainly to, all to his father, justifying what he was doing. And here was this kid of 18, and in particular one of them, after he'd only been in Weimar for less than a year, um, and he'd met Brahms, Brahms asked him if he would play uh, uh, his second piano concerto. And amazingly, he gave the first performance in Britain of that concerto at the Queen's Hall in um, 1882, which is rather good. And in his letter to his father, he actually says, it's a great honour to play Brahms's concerto for the first time, and I'm grateful, dear Papa, but the concerto does not suit me and my style of playing at all. It is very difficult. And when the difficulty is conquered, it, it has no effect whatsoever, as it will always sound like a symphony uh, with piano accompaniment. So little prom prominence is given to the soloist. Brahms told me this and wished me to play something less sacrificing, but I told him I would prefer to play his concerto, which is also true, as it is 10,000 times better than many stupid modern pieces of the time. What, what is quite interesting, apart from always being referred to as a German uh, composer stroke pianist, the very next thing is not about his music, but about how many wives he had. Dalbert had six wives. First was Louise Salingre, followed by Teresa Carreño, the famous pianist, singer-composer. Um, then came Hermione Fink, uh, a mezzo soprano who uh, was in the premier pre first performance of Hansel and Gretel, um, followed by my um, grandmother, Ida Fulda, who was an Austrian actress. She was the fourth wife. This was followed by Frederica Jana, who uh, was nicknamed Fritzi, a very famous actress in Austria, and then Hilda Fels. He, he died in Riga. Um, the reason was uh, he wasn't going there to perform <laughs> or compose. He was going there because in those days you could get a really good and quick divorce. And he went to Riga basically to get a divorce from his sixth wife to marry his then mistress, the, the Italian Zanetti. But unfortunately he died. <laughs> and my mother recalls the story that she was asked to go to Riga and bring back the body. And she had to travel all the way back from Riga in this one of the rear coaches of this train just sitting with the coffin. <laughs> which wasn't quite, which she found quite fun.